I have a quick little video for you today. I'm going to share my space uh, one more time. I'm going to link underneath my original craft room tour that I did. I think it was one of the very first videos in, in this new channel. And today I'm going to share a few little tips and ideas that maybe you may find useful. And I also want to reveal a new work area for me that worked out really well and it was a bargain. So I'm really excited about that. So I think... Um, uh, yeah, let's get started. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Uh, please um, give me a thumbs up. That always helps if you really like this video and you share it. That is a big plus. So let's get started. My name is Marlene and I am Uniquely Ella, just about everywhere. YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Uh, so today I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of not talk about every single little thing I have because I have like a lot of just junky stuff all over the place. But I want to just kind of walk around and kind of give you my thoughts and ideas and maybe a few little tips on uh, what I have found in the past to be very helpful in, in organizing and keeping track of everything that you do have. First of all, I want to say that... Um, this area, this space right here, I'm going to kind of show you a little bit. I'm showing you the floor because I'm very proud of it because I installed it myself. So I want to just kind of give you, I'm going to give you a little overview, like a overview later on at the end of the whole room, the whole space. This is, if you hear a noise, my laundry room is like right behind me. So there's the, there's my house and then there is the uh, mud room, the old mud room, the laundry room, and then this is a lean to addition they did to this house. It's all connected, it's all through the house, same heating system, same everything. But this is kind of like outside the house a little bit. You see my cat? Um, you know, at the end of the house. So, anyway, but all that to show to let you know that this was the man that owned this house um, used to like take care of dogs. He was probably a very caring person. And this was his kennel. This was his dog kennel. It had layers and layers of rugs. My husband just didn't want to deal with it, which I don't blame him. He didn't want to deal with any of it. And I like a challenge, so I said, no problem. Can I be like in charge? And he was like, sure, just do it. If you want, do whatever you want. I was like, oh yeah. So it took me a good, I would probably say eight months or something to try to get this room uh, in some shape. You know just to get it started just to get it like cleaned and everything so that I can work on it um, that's a new addition a little chandelier um, you know to really get it to where I want it so that's the thing about the room so again to let you know that when you find a space it could be a closet it could be a little piece of your laundry room that used to be where I used to um, um, where I used to craft before was a little piece of my laundry room. Don't be turned off by the area that you chose. It could be a little piece of your living room. It could be a little piece of, you know, like a little corner of your bedroom with a little desk on it. It just doesn't really matter as long as you make it your own and it's functionable and it works for you. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to just kind of walk around and kind of show you where, of course, guys, disclaimer, this room does not look like this all the time. I cleaned it for you, to be honest. This is not like this at all. There's stuff everywhere. There's laces everywhere. There's bins that I keep in a closet that are plastic bins that I don't particularly like plastic bins, but hey, whatever works. But this room does not look like this ever, ever. It, um, it just doesn't. It's just like a mess. So I cleaned it for you guys. I just painted these stairs not too long ago. I got a lot of room. I, I need to put a lot of things to do. I need to give it another coat. Um, so I'm just going to kind of show you around. You can maybe get ideas on how I decide to store and display my things. I'm a visual person. I like color. And I like to have things out that I can see and be inspired by. I have some of the works from some of the lovely ladies that have given me things. and But I like to keep things out that I can see them. And of course, I'm blessed to have this large space. I realize that. And I can have a lot of things out, but sometimes you can't, and that's okay. You know, you work with the space that you have, but don't let not having a space, you know, hinder you or, or prevent you from creating whatever it is that we call our art. Don't. Just, just create. Just create out of anywhere. A little table. You can make a little table really cute. You can make a little desk really cute. Put a few little shelves on top and, you know, a little, um, just make it your own basically 
Okay, so let's get going with, um, like I said, I'm going to be jumping around from area to area when I think of a little tip that I want to share with you. So let's get going. Well, the first thing that I want to share with you is, and I know that some of you guys already know this, and that is storage. Storage is a big deal with us because we collect a lot of little things that we um that we need so storage is like the key and there in my opinion you should have a room and an area and a home for everything even if it's a little bin even if it's a little box whatever it is everything should have a home and my biggest tip to you is is to put it back in that home once you use it is it a paintbrush is it a pencil whatever it is even if that little home area is not super organized Let's say that it's a box or a bin or something and it's not super organized, but it's the home for it. So put it back in that home area and that will cut your work like incredible. Whenever you have some extra time, if you want to go into that bin or box or whatever and organize it, that's fine. But at least everything that's supposed to be in that box and in that bin is in that bin. I keep these pretty boxes up here that I've been collecting forever. And then in these boxes, and another key is to really try, 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 try as hard as you can to keep things labeled. It could be a tag. It could be, you, know, you can make it all pretty like this. I chose to, uh, you know, make a little key to go with the cute little tags. But everything needs to be, like for example, this says kitchen because I have all my little things that for journals and things that I want to make that have to do with kitchen in this little bit so label and a home for everything I think it's like my number one tip find a home for everything and label it and then when you have so many little homes for everything like all these little boxes and all these little things if they're not labeled you you don't know what's in it and I mean even though I use my room a lot and I'm here all the time I still forget like for example that box right here I'm looking at it that's not labeled so I got to go in there and label that. That's my thing for this year is to label, go back and label, 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 and make sure that everything is in his home, even if it's if the little home area that I'm calling it is not, um, it's not, this is my collection of vintage keys that I love. Even if my little home area is not super organized. Let me show you, for example, this box I did quite a few years ago my friend gave it to me it was like a cheese box and I you know I went ahead and I embellished it and, and in here I keep my paper dolls one place where I keep some of my paper dolls and I don't have to label this because I know it I know that I keep my paper dolls in this box but I don't know what's in that box I don't so see I gotta do see this this I know what's in here I know exactly well let me show you I'll give you an example it needs to be labeled this is a little vintage see so anything can be storage it can be a box for example this is an old I keep my um, sink binding in here this is an old box that you that I found in a garage sale so there you go garage sales thrift shops goodwills uh, the dollar store still is still a good deal and the dollar store has some really good um, things that you can use for storage this I think I got somewhere junking around and it was I didn't like what it had so I covered it up with tissue paper uh, you know pattern tissue paper and then I decoupage I gave it a little uh, sealant on top and it's I've had it for I don't know guys maybe more than 15 years and it works it may not be like the prettiest things but it works this basket, for example, I found at a garage sale, and my mom made me these little linings for it. You don't have to make it that fancy. This one, I didn't know how to do the lining. I didn't know how to do the seam in the corner, like do a corner. So all I did was put a little, I don't know what this is, a doily or something, and just dressed it up a little bit. This I also found somewhere junking, and I painted it white. So, so this little suitcase I found thrifting around, and I like it. I have to clean it up. I found it not too long ago. And I think here I kept like just poured in. It's hard to do with one hand. Let me see if I can do it. I just have all like my junky jewelry. I don't have to look at it. It's all here. It's not organized. This used to be on top of my table. And I'll show you why it's no longer on top of my table. 
but this used to be organized I mean like a mess so at least everything's in a bag and it's all in here and when I have time I'll pick up this whole thing take it to wherever I'm watching TV or talking to my husband or whatever and just organize as best I can you know so but at least I know that it's confined to an area and it's not all over my room guys and that's not to that's not to tell that that's not to show you that I still have messes but I try to keep it confined like for example here I have uh, I don't have too many fibers here but I got a lot of these you know I got a lot of you is that how you say it and some crocheting I just keep it all in here I have way too much and that's another tip that I have for you later and then just jewelry stuff things that I want to make but going back to my tips about storage again everything has to have a home some kind of a home whatever it may be this unit right here has worked really well for me I found these these were brown I painted them white and everything has a home this is like my mixed media one right here uh, work that I've done in the past this is my soldering stuff that I want to make pendants and things uh, overflow of punches big my big jumbo punches are all here uh, everything just has like I got some beading stuff on the bottom so if I'm done with something and I know it goes in one of these bins I just put it there also another thing that works for me really well are little stations like maybe they're like mental stations I don't know but I make these little stations and areas for me and it works um, here again a lot of the things that you see that are not like thrifted or garage sales or repurposed for example all these boxes here these are all purchased from Hobby Lobby or you know uh, Michaels or whatever I this is not something that I collected or started to decide oh I'm going to use this as storage in one week no this has taken me years and years of just buying these little boxes or whatever it is that is store bought on and it works really well I have a box for every color and it works really well I just buy a little by little when I have to pay full price for something I don't have the money to go buy if I need 20 of them I have to buy them little by little and it works for me so that's my other little tip if you want to buy everything to kind of match and everything to be from the store you can get there just buy a little by little uh, going back to the stations this is like what I'm calling my this is actually my secondary beading station I call it everything that has to do with beading grommets paper clips everything is like in there and I know it's in there it's some one color coordinated a little bit so I know and these are my good beads these are like my glass beads this box right here is this box right here these are like my plastic beads and they're also color coded so I kind of know where everything is you know uh, so stations stations little stations this is like my little apron station that I just try to make it look cute but I don't really use the aprons I just like looking at them <laughs> so this is my mixed media station this is a door it's a side door that goes to the side garden that I haven't done anything to it so once I dress up that little side garden I might have to want to open this door sit out there or do something but for now this doesn't even get open it's kind of locked permanent it doesn't get open so if it has to get open for any reason maybe take out the garbage real fast or whatever I can always move these cards there on wheel these cards are also an investment I call them an investment because these are the IKEA cards they weren't found thrifting or anything like that which is what I call my really inexpensive you know almost nothing storage systems but these I did have to pay full price and I bought one I saved up and then I bought the other one so what I have tried to do is to keep all my mixed media my brushes everything that has to do with mixed media paint any medium that's liquid I try to keep it all in here and my challenge is this card's going to fall apart any minute but my challenge is if it, if I can't fit another thing in here I have to do inventory and take out and donate because I donate I don't throw things out I just give them away somebody else might be able to use them 
to just get rid of something else so that I can make the new items fit in my cart. For example, I found this for like a dollar, this humongous bunch. I have to show you, maybe I can get it in a little bit. Let me count, let me show you for a minute, hang on. Okay, I'm back. I just found this little container in the box, which I've already cleaned the box and threw everything right back in. This is like a nice little box. Everything was like a dollar. And there are some really nice jelly pens in here. And I'm going through them a little bit to get rid of the ones that are not really working or flowing well. But even if half of this little box is usable, I got my money's worth. And sometimes you just can't pass up things like that. Um, do I need more pens, markers? No, I don't. I don't need any. I don't need one. But I couldn't pass it up. So I guess that's how I'm justifying my purchase. But anyway, I need to go through that box and I need to go through all of these and whatever doesn't work, I need to get rid of because I need to make room for the new things that came in. So that's kind of what I'm doing. My cat loves coming in here and playing with my brushes. But that's how I'm working my little areas and my little system, and it seems to be working for me. Now, you see this little box? This was free. It came, you know, almost free. I paid a dollar something for it. But these I love, and these are from the dollar store, guys. I think even if it's, I think it's like a dollar twenty-five or whatever, but they're great, and they fit perfect in these little Ikea cards. So, again, storage doesn't have to be, like, all fancy. You can make it your own and make it as pretty as you want it to, to be. Uh, let me show you. See this card, this little thing has been with me for a long, long time. It's been loved. It's stained. I mean, I have to go with, you know, if I want to be a real, real neat freak, I can paint it a little bit. I could if I wanted to. But it's been with me forever. And it's still working. So I'm not going to change. So the systems that are working for me, I'm going to like really, 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 really keep. So that's the first thing I was ever, my first, I think I've shown this before my first little item that was ever picked up um let's see more little storage i think this was like a little spice rack that i went again if you're in a small place and you don't have a lot of room as far as square footage but you have room up just work that wall all the way to the ceiling and a good way to do that for me are these little printers tray things that i showed you what my stamps are and these little spice rack because they're not very they're not projecting out too much so you're not going to bump into them they're little and they can hold a lot so I really like uh and I picked those um spice racks when I was working out of my uh, the little area out of my laundry room and I kept them they work they work this is here by the door I might somebody might bump into it but being that it's so thin it doesn't work so if your space is small as far as the square footage and you have walls, you have space. Just work those walls, just work it everywhere. You can put all kinds of things, hooks, anything that you can. This is also a recyclable basket that I painted. This is my little this is my little wallpaper station. I have more wallpaper in there, but this is all I can fit here. And I'm not picking up any more wallpaper, even if I love it. I don't have room for it. I'm not picking it up. Lord help me. So this is my little sewing station and I put it right here next to the window because I love and I need the light. That's my second tip for you today is lighting. Lighting is very, very important when you craft, when you make videos. The best is natural light, but if you don't have it, just put lights everywhere. You can be like a light bulb. It can be, doesn't, you don't have to buy these fancy you know, lights that you see all these creators and content creators using. You could if you have the money and you want to, and you are going to get probably get excellent lighting. But if you don't, you can just use regular light bulbs. And also placement. Set yourself, set your camera, set your stations in the areas where you can maximize the most of the natural lighting. That's really important. And that is the reason why I have my little sewing station here next to my window. So let me continue to show you around. I'll be back. Okay, friends, going back to corralling things and making things all be in one place. This little tower here is a um, three-tier like display tower thing where I used to keep soaps at my spa. And I loved it so much that I gave one to uh, somebody that worked with me, a really sweet lady. And the other one I kept for myself and I painted it white. It was uh, silver. And I am using this as my fiber 
and my favorite favorite little fabric stations fabrics that I'm just gonna want to keep for myself and I like it because so you got to kind of sometimes think outside the box because maybe something was designed for something doesn't mean you can use it for whatever you needed to use it for I like the fact that it's got these little uh, you know things that you can these little bars that you can just put your hand in there and kind of feel you don't have to take everything out and I like sometimes when my cat comes and plays and things dangle <laughs> um, so this is like my fiber tower I call it and it fits perfectly in this little corner right here and again if it doesn't fit in the tower I'm either donating something or just not getting anything else this little basket the other little handle doesn't work and that's okay this is also one of those thrifty finds and in here I keep things that I have die cut and they're all like kind of semi-organized but everything has been like die cut a little project that I'm working on and, well this shouldn't really be here but just oh my god uh, okay so this is something I need to go through so this is another example of a mess but it's contained it's in an area this is one of the arty cakes I love this and also decorate that at least I do it doesn't have to be fancy you can make your own tassel whatever you like just make your space pretty I mean I don't know if that's a tip but that's good for your heart just that you walk in and the and it's you whatever your touch is just let it be you Okay, so this is a perfect example of a basket that I need to go over because it's corralled in there, but things that are in there are not supposed to be in there. So here I have more storage spaces. <clears throat> this little girl is always going to be here. I had her in my spa, in my facial room, but she reminds me of my profession and she reminds me of what I did for 30 years and how I earned my life. So she sits here and she looks everybody in the room and she makes me want to chill and relax up here is an area where I choose which I need to bring out more of the goodies that my friends have made for me so I think I I've been rearranging this top space I don't have a lot maybe a couple of feet or two and a half feet so I want to really maximize I have I still have a lot of room here and I want to maximize that space with maybe some display items this used to be my old um, TV stand back before we moved here and you know the old TVs used to go in there and it had like a furniture on the bottom so what I did is I found these feet for it and I think these feet belong to a couch you might see some dust so it is what it is and I put it I added these little feet and now it kind of looks like a little storage unit but it's not really it doesn't look like a TV storage unit anymore but it was and I'm going to give you a peek in here. Please don't judge. Here I just have like uh, just all kinds of stuff. This is Christmas, fall. These are all die cuts and things that I've been collecting forever. Uh, scrapbooking things. Just all kinds of things that kind of don't match. Yeah, a lot of the, the, you know, the plastic boxes that to me, they're very handy. But to me, they just don't look like something I want to have out in my space but that's a very personal thing you know it's like my space but in your space or whoever they may love that so go for it whatever makes you happy here behind my desk which I'm saving for last to show you well right here on this side of the desk let me get over here I have two Alex carts that are on each side of the table which I'm going to show you which I'm so happy about these two Alex cards was one on top of each other and it was right over on, next to that piece of furniture. But now since I've rearranged my room, I have it here. And I know that you've seen this before. This is my little glitter station, which I love. And uh, it's just salt shakers that I've been collecting forever. Right here behind my desk, I have like a mishmash of cubes and all kinds of things that I kind of made it work. See like these cubes right here do not match these. You can see the difference in color and that's okay. I'm good with that. But I found the one that fit. I think this was a garage sale find for almost nothing. And these, I love this whole storage system, bins, drawers, whatever works for you. I like drawers because drawers can hold a lot. 
they can really this is all my extra glue they can you can really um some of my drawers are really junky these are all my ink stamps i'm just giving you like an inside look but they hold a lot and i love it and to me these cubes have been working wonderfully they're from michael's and again i picked them up on sale you know when they used to have those coupons with a 40 off i don't know if they still have that but there, some of them are banged up a little bit. I had to retouch some of the drawers. I had to put a little glue on the joints. But they've been with me 20 years, maybe 19, 18 years, if that. I mean, they've been with me for a long time. And some of them have dings and scratches, and that's okay. I love this system, and I don't think I'm ever going to change that because it works. I have left some open little corral for my cutters. These are my favorite laces that I want to keep right next to my desk um, that I reach for all the time and again these are repurposed baskets that my mom made me the little cover for um, because it was like a little complicated for me but you know I picked the colors I'm a pink girl I like pink so another storage area this is where I film guys this is my filming station when you see and let me show you up here. If I, can, I don't want to show you my yard because my yard is right behind this and it looks bad. See? My camera goes right up here. It's a little rig. It's nothing more than a little, um, what you call it? A rod, a little closet rod. And I rigged it with a little piece of wood and my camera goes up there. I painted it all white so it blends in. Except for the camera gear that's black, but it works. So this is where I film. When you see me filming something, a project, I'm right here. I'm filming right here because, again, I get my natural light from my window. Then a little platform that I made. See that? And then what's holding the platform, let me show you here. Because my cat sometimes will jump on it and it could flip. I put two little screws here. And it kind of fits. I made a little cut for it. And it fits right in there. And then I put these little rosettes. They kind of cover the screws. And you can't tell. So don't tell anybody. But that's what's holding this thing from flipping over. Because there's a quite a little gap down here. Because I like to slip my, my chair in there so I can sit. So because of this little lip, my cat was flipping it and falling. So I rigged it up. So you make things work for you. Whatever it is. These are just old pieces of board that I paint it that's it and now I have a filming station that I rigged up and it took me two seconds to do um, let me show you I had to bring this little let me go over here I had to bring this little bracket out so that the camera would be directly on top of the board and in order to do that I didn't find a bracket that was long enough so I rigged it I put pieces, three pieces of um, two by fours to build the wall out, to build the bracket out, and it works. I painted it white. I know the three pieces of two by four. It doesn't bother me. Nobody sees it, only me, and I don't even look up there, so it works. This little station right here, I keep all the things that I'm going to reach, my little scraps and things that I'm going to reach right away, projects that I have done and file folders that I use a lot so this little and then the books that I use a lot in my journals my favorite ones I just reach they're right behind me and I reach for them and they're there uh, so let's keep going all the way around my room this piece right here I know I mentioned on my other video my original video of this room which I'm going to link underneath let me give you a little peek at what I see but the, the rest of the yard is Yucky, but do you see back there those two little windows? That is a project that I'm working on. This is a shed that was blue, teal blue, terrible. And I think he also might have kept dogs in there because it had like some kind of ventilation system so and a heater. So I'm thinking he might have kept dogs. The inside is super organized and clean. And then the outside I'm painting white with some boards. So I get to at least look at a cute little shed. I'm going to put flower boxes so that I get to look at something pretty when I'm working from my station. But the yard itself, which is right over there, it's a mess. So I'm not going to show you that. I'm working on it. So this unit right here, again, these two 
units, the one I showed you over there, there was my TV, my old TV station worked really well here because this is a lean-to room and this, I'm 5'7", and this is almost like, if I stand right there in that corner, it's almost like a few inches from my head. So it goes down like that. So I couldn't put a really big unit, you know, like this unit. Let me go around. I don't want to make you dizzy. But this unit over here, you see how tall that whole big unit is? And I st even still have room up there because that's the, that's the original height of the house and then it starts to lean like this but i'm not complaining i'm blessed to have this room and i work with what the architecture that i have just like you got to work with the area that you have so i made the best of it i'm putting small little units here at this end because i don't have the room to put a big unit here that's all the room that i have this was a kitchen cabinet from the original well, actually, this little cottage still has, I still have the original kitchen. I moved it around, painted it, put some trim on it, changed the whole setup, layout. But it's still the same cabinets. Why? Because they're wood. And I couldn't afford wood. New wooden cabinets, I couldn't afford it. So I worked with what I had. So this whole unit was left over. I think this was somewhere on top of something. It was left over from when I renovated the kitchen, which I did myself. And it's just a solid thing. So I was like, it's either going to go in the shed. And I'm like, you know, the more I painted it and then I changed the knobs. I was like, no, that's so cute. I'm going to use it in my room. So this is another hiding place. Please don't judge again. The plastic bins, they're all by, this is like my French paper that I love. And just some of my favorite things. This smells real musty. So I have some essential oils in this shaker with some cotton because I can't get the smell out of this thing. But I will, even though I painted it twice. I will. It's coming off. But sometimes when I open it, I can kind of still smell it. Uh, this hint, hint. This is going to be a giveaway that I'm working on. I'm getting trying to get some ideas, but I think I want to... I might use that. I don't know. But this is a hiding place. Sorry. It's, it's an old piece in it. Just sorry about that. It doesn't have a proper stopper. So that's a storage solution right there. Okay, you got a little peek at my yard. Don't judge. This little unit here my sister gave me. And this is something that with basic carpentry skill, anybody can build. They're all just little two by fours. And just she built a little frame and then a stencil and boom, you have a store. You have an area to store. And if you have a lot of room all the way up, you can certainly build this all the way up and it would be perfect. Here, what I chose to store here is my beading. My beading, my beading assemblage thing that I have to like assemble. That all of it is all in there. I have some back in those little basket. These were little makeup cases from my spa and they work for me. I kept my favorite pinks and greens and I have beads in there and there. Here this was given to me, I think this is like a Pier 1 or something old. I painted it white. It's like a, it's like a wood but a real thin wood. Like the balsa boxes. Remember when we used to do the old times we used to alter the balsa boxes? Well this is like one big giant balsa box with a lock. And I keep my clothespins in there. I love, love, love to alter clothespins. And I keep them in there, as you can tell. I, I can I live. I can outlive my supply of clothespins. Here, in this little tower here, I keep all kinds of things. This is also from Michaels and Joanne. And every like that's a cube. That's a cube. That's a cube. And I kind of put it where it kind of works for me. And let me show you guys. These are beat up. These have been loved and have been gone through like two moves with me. So. I've had this, actually I've had this, I lived in my own house, my old house for almost 20 years. And this moved with me to my old house. I just had gotten it. And I've been in this new house. I've been in Alabama for four years, five, going on five. That's how all these things are. But what I did was that I, it, does, it didn't say to do so, but I put glue in every little joint. And when the screws went in, I put glue in there. So I reinforced them. They're sturdy. 
they're sturdy. I did unpack them, and some of these have come, have become unglued. Like I know this is unglued. Sometimes when I pull it out, I can feel it. See, see how it just went in. So I need to glue that in, and it keeps it more stable. So storage solutions can be things that you already have that you repurposed, or um, things that you found that you don't want to get rid of. In here, I keep all kinds of stuff, more pencils and pens. Uh, these are little rosettes. I got them a rosette kick, and I love making them, and I need to use them or give them away or to my lovely customers. These are just little notepads. What do I have? More little notepads. Let me just kind of show you around, because I don't think I opened anything in my last video, just real quick. These are my birds and butterfly boxes, which I need to start using these more on my journals to alter them. These are pretty birds and bird nests and ornaments that I guess I could just hang around my room and make my room look pretty. I gotta show you something I found a while back, but I think I'm gonna use it in my room. Oh, come on, you little tail, you go in there. And... These are just like the little egg box. This is my favorite. These are Jingle Bells. This is my favorite drawer. I don't know why. Of all the drawers that I have, this is my favorite. I love bells. I love Jingle Bells. Do I need this many bells? No. So if you order from me and you need Jingle Bells, drop me a little note and I'll put a few for you in a little baggie. Uh, these are cards from some of my friends. And some cards that I need to. These are some of the backgrounds for some of the cards that I make. And these are cards that I don't want to get rid of. And some of my very favorite cards. This is a backup to my sequins. And my bead glass. This is the backup, guys, because... Um, I have these over there in that big unit, that big square unit. But these are some of my sequins. These are the ones that I used in a project, not too long ago, in a journal. These little discs. And these are some of my bead glass. So I keep all that in there. And these are my flowers. I used to have a lot more flowers, a lot of Prima, but I gave a whole lot away. I found this in a garage sale. Isn't that pretty? Can you pass this up? This was like five cents or something. No. What am I going to use it for? I don't know. See this whole bag, for example. If I put these but a dollar at a garage sale. I could pass that up. These are some of the flowers that I have left. Not a whole lot because I don't work a lot with flowers anymore. But I do. I really need to more because I like them. Uh, see how this is a perfect example of an area that's not organized. And it's not neat, and it's okay. But it's in an area. When I have time, when I have an extra 10 minutes or something, I'll come in here and just kind of pull the drawer and organize it a little bit. That's what works for me. This, I am obsessed with straws. Why? I don't know. But I love straws, you guys. Somebody needs to come up with some kind of a challenge on different ways to use straws. And help me out here. Help a girl out. Oh, see, these, I might give some of these away for Valentine's. Can you see that? Let me see. They're like the little Valentine candies. Is it focusing? See that? I'm going to keep that out, so I'm going to give some of those away. But I have, like, this whole drawer of straws. So if you have any ideas of what I can do with all my straws other than throw them away, let me know. Oh, these are pipe cleaners. Some are vintage and some are not. Uh, I guess more straws. And just these, I guess this must have been the bull box that got, you know, that got, uh, what are these? Oh, these are more pipe cleaners. So I guess that must have been the overflow of the pipe cleaners. And I got some vintage pipe cleaners. So these little drawers are like a godsend. And then, again, these little boxes that are great. Like I told you before, look how dimensional they are. They're not very. They're great to put little things on and for storage. 
and then I'm blessed that I have the room and I can have like little tears but I think these this stuff is really like like a uh, space waster but they're good for my soul because I look I like looking at them but they really do you me personally I find that this I can stock I can stack stack so many more boxes up here and use the room but you know I don't so I have these little trays and things that are you know they, they, they do take up a lot of space this little hat was my beautiful niece's first birthday hat and I love it and she's 22 23 I love that hat I still have it and this beautiful dress form I still have it from I don't know this must be 15 years old maybe 12 15 years old was given to me by my sweet friend Janet give me that and I love it and I have it here which I really shouldn't cover up oh that looks pretty there so that's Janet and that's just a little crown another space waster I call it but uh, this one's a little bigger uh, and it stores a little bit more you know I have more room for storage I've got some things some of my friends made my two favorite layouts in the whole world because these are my two favorite oh, guys that's why I have a cat in my mind my husband and I subconsciously I don't know we we don't know why we cannot get a get over it and just get another doggy you know like if it's gonna hurt less because it's a cat you know it's like no I love my cat so much I love him with my whole heart so I need to get over it we need to get over it we already mourn them we need to move on and we need to get I love these dogs so much we need to get new dogs okay so let's move to this area over here okay friends this turned out to be an entire room tour so quickly here in this little wire basket thing that I think I must have picked up at Joanne's or Michael's or something because or Marshall's I painted it white and distressed it a little bit and I keep all of what I call my tool station uh, here just my punch my crop dial some of my punches my crimper just try to keep it because it's very sturdy back here is another station that I never got to paint white but I keep it's like a little three-tier little thing too. I keep all my wood veneer or little things in there that I don't use that much anymore. And I really need to de-stash. I don't need that many. And they're not being used that much. So over here, let me move back a little bit without making this little lamp. I love. I finally found a little uh, uh, shade for it. This was, I think... I don't know. I don't want to say, but I think this might have been like a dollar at a garage sale. I love it. Um, let me give you a little. This closet, guys, I'm not opening up because this has a lot of my. It does have a few craft room things, but it has a lot of my Christmas storage and things are all in here. So it's not really kind of like craft room related, but it's a t lifesaver. It's kind of, as you can tell, it's kind of like nice. It holds those big bins, those big gigantic plastic bins. It holds one in the back and one in the front. So I got plenty of room there. So let me give you a look this way. We've already we've done that whole section. Now this section here is a mishmash that I made it work. This used to be my old potting shed. My old potting station that I had in like a little makeshift little potting uh, bench thing and this was built for me just like that big storage that big wall unit that's behind me the one with the little baskets I want to say in like 98 or 96 maybe so this has been with me for like a long time and this the platform was built for me it's very sturdy it's not going anywhere because it holds this chunky piece of marble that's all scratched and beat up from my from my gardening uh, days um, when I used to use it in the garden I went ahead and I painted it and it's a sturdy I was going to use it as a cutting station but I decided to just use my desk as a cutting station and what I keep underneath this is storage storage 
And what I keep underneath it is um, kind of like one little thing over here is useless because this is my meal planner that looks adorable and it's got all kinds of meals categorized and it's beautiful but it's useless because I don't cook. But I like the meal planner idea. It's a great idea guys, it's just not for me. Um, and then I have little bins that are all mishmash but I kind of make them work because I painted them the same. Um, and I have my stickers and little, basically what I have here is, let me show you, things to do with my planner. Guys, I don't have to, God, I don't need to buy anything for planners. Just little pieces of papers and things that I'm saving for my, this is a garage sale fine, I think. And I, no, this is not a garage sale fine, I've had this for a while. Just little things I cannot get rid of, like that I figure they're small enough and I can use for like um, that I can just pick up and go and it can be like for my planner these are some of my old planners right here that are like my favorite that, that I don't want to get rid of and these are just I love this little drawer I made it a long time ago I think it's so cute I want to say this is tilde paper but I'm not 100% sure and what do I have here just, I don't know, just some of my stickers that I don't want to get it old and I don't want to get rid of and this should be a donating thing I really should be a donating thing my my cooking planner is beautiful guys let me see if I can I don't have anything very personal in here I'll give you a pick it's just a three ring binder that I covered in this beautiful paper and look how cute I have all my groceries and meal planners and my stickies all coordinated and then I have my meals by categories and these are all my dividers look how pretty my different dividers are see isn't that beautiful I like my love my meal planner but I like it where it is I don't like the kitchen guys I like kitchen gadgets and things like that I do like but I don't like the kitchen. But I think it's a cute meal planner. If you have one, let me know. What do I have in here? Oh, here I store my extra baggies and more pencils. If you guys need pen, pencil markers, let me know. And this little unit up here, I found, this is also maybe, I don't know, 12, 13, 14 years old. This is a... This little house shape, which I love shapes of like the little peak, the gate. I don't know what you call that. I love those shapes. Um, this was, I think, this was like a dollhouse type of thing for a little girl's room. And I was looking for one, but I didn't want it to be plastic. This is not real wood, but it's that veneer wood. So it kind of worked. And I turned it into a little shelving unit that I had no place to put it. And as you can see, it barely clears the roof. And the roof, I did that. They're all planks put in one by one. My husband cut them and I put them in. So, um, here is just, I don't want to say a waste of space because this space makes me so happy. But, I keep some of my, and I love the little windows. Look how cute. The little wind, the little windows look I love that so I just keep uh, some of my favorite things here just for pretty my ATC's that I still love and collect and I will keep forever I love them and just all kinds of things going back to this little area which I left just enough room so I can open the door and here I just have a little a little basket I found somewhere and I just store some of my favorite pretties beautiful things look at this how beautiful one of my talented friends made me that look at the back look how gorgeous that is it had lots of things in it but I've been using them isn't that pretty and I have a new dogwood you want to read up on the story of the dogwood if it's true or not I do not know 
it's a beautiful story and so I have a new dogwood in front of my house that I planted not too long ago and these are just some of my very favorite things and I just found this one well, no, I didn't find I refound it I've had it for a while and I don't know where I put it and I found it again look how cute this was from some kind of garage sale or something isn't that pretty like this little lantern and I think I want to put it right in that little corner right there like I need another thing in here okay so before I go to the big reveal let me show you this little Alex unit be right back okay so here we go this is the last um, little storage area that I'm really this is the other Alex drawer that I told you on the other side of the table that I had one on top of each other and I really do need to go over these drawers guys so I think out of all that this is where I keep all my cards bingo cards coupons everything so I think out of all the tips that I kind of share with you a little bit I think the main one that made a life change for me was to corral things whether baskets or however whatever works for you however fancy you want to get just corral them keep them in one place and the second thing is the challenge of see more clothespins like do I need any the second thing is to use what you have and get rid of what you're not going to use what I was doing before is that I had made a bin where I kept putting things that I wasn't going to use and if I didn't use them up within a couple of months I was going to give them away that didn't work that bin kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger and I didn't even and I didn't use any other stuff so that system didn't work for me so my recommendation is to give yourself a good think you know a good like sit there for a minute and really think am I going to use this or can I pass it on to somebody that will use it and find use for it and now I don't have a holding station for things that I'm not sure if I'm going to use. I don't have a holding station. I just get rid of them. And and you know that in this crafting community and in the crafting world, there's always new products. There's always new things you want to use. So, and then you just, the things that you don't use can just kind of get put on the side. Get rid of them. Just get rid of them. Give them away. Pass them on. And it frees you up it's like I can't explain to you once I made that leap into not holding things just getting rid of them I feel so much better even though you're looking at this room and you're like girl you can get rid of so many other things yes I can and I'm working on it you know it's like a little by little but I think I've come a long way so those are basically the basic tips that I have for you is corral things find storage for them and keep things moving whatever doesn't work get rid of it get rid of it get rid of it Okay, without further ado, let me show you the reason for this video. I didn't mean it to be like an entire room tour, but I am so happy about this, guys. And again, it's a garage sale find, and it's my new table. I'm so happy about it. Um, if you go back into my first um, video that I did about my, when I first initially got moved into my craft room, what I had for many years, for like three years, and it was working for me, and it was perfect, I had back-to-back -back those folding tables, back-to-back, -back, and then I found some burlap in some kind of garage sale or something. I think it was like a venue. They were getting rid of stuff, so they had yards and yards and yards of burlap for almost nothing. So I went ahead and I did... I'll try to link a picture somewhere so you can see um, what the table looked like before. I had a burlap thing all over it and I had a shower curtain on top of it that made the burlap kind of waterproof because I you know you use glue and all kinds of stuff and that worked for me really well but the table was a little shaky and the burlap was hurting my legs it was rubbing up against my legs and it was like scratching me already like it was getting it was getting on my nerves so I was like, you know what, I've done all this work, all this room, everything, the walls, the ceiling, the floor, by myself, I need to like really splurge and give me like a nice, nice table, even if I have to pay a few hundred dollars for it. So I have put a little bit of money aside, little, 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 and I had almost $300 for a table. So my sister who loves to garage sale, and I do too, but I don't like it as much as she does. And sometimes if I want to sleep late, I'll skip. I'll tell her, oh, I'm going to skip. I'm not going to do it or whatever and then she'll still go because she's like a hardcore garage sale person and um this and i told her dolly you know i'm on the lookout for 
I need a table. I need either, like she's always on Facebook Marketplace. I'm not that much on Facebook Marketplace. So I told her, if you're on Facebook Marketplace or anywhere and you find a good table, it probably won't be as wide as my two tables put together, but, I don't, but it cannot be the width of a regular table. I need more room than that. So if you ever find across something like that, and it's under $300, even if it's close to $300, buy it for me. That's how much money I have um, allowed myself to spend. And just buy it, and I'll give you the money. Just grab it and just get it for me. I told her that within a week, very early in the morning on a Saturday, I got a text from my niece telling me that her mom and her think they found the perfect table for me. So they sent me pictures. This is how thick this table is. It's huge. It's made in India. I'm going to put a little picture underneath the back. It's a huge table. This has to be like Pottery Barn or Ballor Design. Some kind of thing because this is like solid wood and it's all hand chisel. The whole table has like bumps. So I know this was made not in our country. You know, this was, I know it because, you know, it's like, you see... Oh, I don't know if you can see, but you see how this is all chiseled by hand. It's not amazing? So it's like a piece of art in itself. Now, the feet. The feet, I know, they do not belong to this table. They're solid. They're solid wood. See? They, and they're very well made, but they, they don't look like they're the same. This is a newer wood. It's cut. It's not the same. So what I'm thinking is that some wonderful lady one at the table top and maybe the legs broke or something and her husband maybe build her I don't know but it's very strong it's very it's built strong to hold this is so heavy it took so many people to get it in here but it worked out so I'm like you know I like it so much maybe I'll use it as my dining room table because it's kind of farmhousey looking so I might but then I was like no God put this for me to use it as a craft table and just get rid of just get rid of the 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 t crappy table that I had for like ever guys here comes oh the table does have a one little thing and it's right here at the joint see how it's coming I don't know how it's coming apart it's I mean I, you you couldn't clamp that and it doesn't really bother me um it doesn't but you know the beveling here is a little coming apart but this will uh, last three of my lifetime, so I don't care about that. And I think it adds character to it. And it worked out perfectly. I told her, measure it and let me know. So she measured it, and I, it was like the perfect height. Actually, it's a little bit higher than the table that I had because it's so thick. But it worked out because my husband got me a new chair, so it kind of worked out. But let me show you real quick. But I've got to tell you the best thing about this table see how the corners are like a little bit but that's okay my husband found this for me and I love it because it was so hard for me to find a chair that went up enough I just needed to go up one more inch higher than the average normal desk chairs but this one does I think it's uh for like a like those workstations that are tall and the good thing is that the arms come up so, because if the arms were down, it wouldn't fit underneath. So it comes up, and it's perfect, and it's so comfortable, and it's great for my back. And this was kind of like a splurge, because he said that I got such a good deal on the table that I, that I should just treat myself and get me a good, and stop hunting around the garage sales for a good chair, and he got me that from Amazon. So, guys, this wonderful table that I had... A budget of 300 close to $300 to splurge on guys this was $25 and she got it for 20 can you believe that she got it for $20 I couldn't believe it so if you wait long enough and you pray about what you want and you wait for it God will give it to you when it's time for you to have it and if he wants you to have it he will give it to you so that's what I did. I dream about my craft room. I cra dream about my space. And I dream about my chairs, my table. And I pray for it and I got it. So that is my big reveal. And like I said, I'm going to post pictures on the... On the... Um, on the... What I was using before. So it worked out really nice. And the Alex, the two Alex 
drawers kind of fit underneath and I still have room there if I want to put some storage which I might you know how it is so that's it guys that's what I wanted to show you I hope that you picked up a few ideas and just all kinds of things that you can use for your room I hope you like my space and if you do a little tour of your space let me know tag me tag me here or tag me on Instagram just let me know so that I can go look at it if you want me to share it on Instagram let me know and I will gladly do that thank you guys thanks for watching stay tuned I have lots of videos and new things coming up this year God bless have a good day bye bye